Good morning, I'm Dr Marianne Gale from New South Wales Health with the COVID-19 update for today, Wednesday, the 2nd of March 2022. Across New South Wales, more than 95% of people aged 16 years and over have received a first dose of a COVID vaccine and 94.3% have received two doses. Of children aged 12 to 15, 83.6% have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 79% have received two doses. Of children aged 5 to 11, 47.6% have received a first dose of a COVID vaccine. Of people in New South Wales aged 16 years and over, 54.5% have received a booster dose. New South Wales Health would like to remind people that booster doses of COVID-19 vaccines are available for people aged 16 years and over, and they're available from three months after you've had your second dose. And I'd like to strongly encourage anyone out there who is eligible for a booster dose to please uh, go ahead and get it. Um, it's an excellent way to protect yourself and protect people around you. It's also really important that if you have had COVID-19, you can still get your booster dose and we strongly encourage you to do so once you've fully recovered from having COVID-19. In terms of case numbers, there were 10,650 positive test results noted, sorry, notified to 4pm yesterday. This includes 3,706 positive PCR tests and 6,944 positive rapid antigen tests. Currently in hospital, there are 1,072 COVID-19 cases admitted, including 45 people in intensive care, 19 of whom require ventilation. Sadly today, New South Wales Health is reporting the deaths of five people with COVID-19. They are three men and two women. And I express my sincere condolences to the families and the other loved ones of those people who've sadly passed away. In terms of key messages for today, I'd like to remind people that masks are now only mandated on public transport, planes, at airports, hospitals, aged and disability care homes, correctional facilities, and in indoor music festivals where there are more than 1,000 people. However, we strongly still recommend masks in any indoor setting, and especially so where you find yourself in a situation where you can't maintain a safe physical distance from other people. It's also very important to continue to be mindful that if you or a loved one feel unwell with COVID symptoms at any time, it's very important to isolate immediately. And if you have symptoms and if you are at risk of severe illness from COVID-19, such as you have a weak immune system or you have chronic illness, uh, it's important that you get a PCR test preferentially because the PCR test is more accurate and it means that you can be assessed rapidly for treatment. So again, thank you everybody for your continued efforts to get vaccinated, to get tested and to help limit the spread of COVID-19. Please take care and stay safe.